les verbes pronominaux and will continue and this video will see precise more precisely les verbes pronominaux à sens passif okay so the first question is of course what are they or what does it mean well the main concept that you get to keep in mind is that when we talk about le passif in french it's actually quite strict in a way we just want to express the fact that le sujet ne fait pas l'action so the subject doesn't do the action okay so i know it can be quite tricky that's the reason why i want to give you un exemple here. Ce grand classique s'appelle Les Enfants du Paradis. So in that case, we want to talk about a movie, Les Enfants du Paradis, and it's a classical movie, so ce grand classique. So let's have a look at your sentence. Here you can see the verb. Okay? You can see that before the verb, you've got this s apostrophe, so it does mean that it is a verb pronominal. Okay, and then here, just before, you've got the subject, ce grand classique. But if you take one minute to look at the sentence, ce grand classique s'appelle les enfants du paradis, you can notice that actually the subject, ce grand classique, doesn't do the action. Because it's not possible, I mean the movie cannot call itself. And that's the whole concept of what we call le passif. Okay? And in that case, this verb pronominal s'appeler will be used, as we saw here, in sens passif. Okay? So, if we take a look again at the sentence, ce grand classique s'appelle les enfants du paradis, well, it could be possible to write it like that. Ce grand classique est appelé les enfants du paradis. And this is one interesting thing because now you notice that it is possible to use this verb appelé. So in that case you don't have this form pronominal, okay? You just have this form non pronominal, so appelé. And it's possible to use it at the passive form. Et appelé is called. Okay, so it would be possible in that case, and the good thing is that, well, in this situation, you notice that s'appeler, and then appeler, so you can use this verb pronominal s'appeler, instead of using the passive form est appelé. Okay, so it can be quite useful in some cases. So, ce grand classique est appelé les enfants du paradis. So, it would be an option, of course. Or then, it would be possible to use on appelle ce grand classique les enfants du paradis. Okay? And in this situation, you notice quite well that ce grand classique, well, actually is not doing the action. Okay? So, s'appeler, in that case, at the present form, can be used instead of a passive form, which is quite useful in a way, and it's quite good to remember that it's an option that you have instead of using le passif, in some cases, of course, not all the time. So, let's see few verbs that will be possible and will actually uh, work, uh, as we saw with the sapli. So, the first one is Sacheté, okay, and what I will give you, I will give you the translation, but I will only give you the by translation, so the translation for acheté, just for a good reason. If you look at the sentence, les médicaments s'achètent dans les pharmacies, well, it's exactly the same thing. You want to say that les gens achètent des médicaments, les médicaments, sorry, dans les pharmacies. And so the interesting thing is to know the meaning of acheté. Okay, because this is what we will have to use. So, les gens achètent les médicaments dans les pharmacies. Les médicaments s'achètent dans les pharmacies. So, s'acheter, s'appeler, s'apprendre, se comprendre, se concevoir, se construire. And let's see now the translations. S'acheter, s'appeler, 
s'apprendre, se comprendre, se concevoir, se construire. Okay, so all these verbs can be used as well as we saw as verbes pronominaux à sens passif. The list continues. Se corriger, se couper, se dire, se diviser, s'employer, s'entendre. Se corriger, se couper, se dire, se diviser, s'employer, s'entendre. S'exprimer, se faire, se former, se lire, se nommer, s'obtenir. S'exprimer, se faire, se former, se lire, se nommer, s'obtenir. Se parler, se perdre, se porter, se pratiquer, se réaliser, se remarquer. Se parler, se perdre, se porter, se pratiquer, se réaliser, se remarquer. Se remplacer, se vendre, se voir, and that's it. Se remplacer, se vendre, se voir. Okay, so remember that all the verbs that we've been or have been presenting uh, in this video, they can work as verbes pronominaux à sens passif.